Tomorrow starts our general gun hunting season here in North Florida and today we are out trying to find our spot to put our blind to set up our deer camp for the next week. That's coming up today on Infantry Outdoors. Stay tuned. My name is DJ Infantry and I am legally blind. My passion for the outdoors has taken me to some amazing places and I have done some incredible things. All with one mission in mind, to inspire you to get outdoors. Welcome to Infantry Outdoors. Hey everybody, welcome to the program. Your boy Infantry out in the woods. Tomorrow starts my general gun, my hunting uh, lease for this management area that I'm in today. And I've got a good friend Bryson, my son, my family out here. We're out trying to find our hunting location to set up our deer camp for the next week. Uh, the area that we did want to go to is off limits during, for whatever reason, that particular part of my area is not allowed to be hunted. So we're out scouting new areas. As you guys can see behind me, I am in Mallory Swamp Wildlife Management Area located in North Florida, just outside of Brantford. Um, my hunting partner, Bryson, which you guys may or may not know, is the landowner that lets us trap on his property. He's gonna be hunting the hunts with me. But today's episode, today's mission is to figure out where we're gonna put the blind, where we're we gonna set up, and all that good sort of stuff. Now we have found a trail or a bedding area off of a trail right now. Now we're just trying to pick our area of where we're gonna go in, where we're gonna start looking, and where we're gonna start setting up. So stay tuned with us, guys. Be sure to give us a thumbs up on the video. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Make sure to ring that bell to all notifications so you're notified every Tuesday for Trapping Tuesdays, Wednesdays for our uploads, and Friday nights for our live streams this week outdoors. With that said, let me get the guy, my partner over here, and let's go see what we can find. So right now, I'm looking for a good spot for us to go in again. Sweet. And you guys can see, this is what we're looking at. I mean, we're trying to find a place to go in, and we found one area so far with the trail that we can actually penetrate into this. This area back here is our hunting area. All of this area over here, we're not allowed to hunt because that's a dog area. So trying to find an entry point to get in here. First entry point. Shh, quiet. And you have five in there, all ready to go. So all you have to do is squeeze it off. So guys, one thing to keep in mind, we are out here hours after Tropical Storm Nicole hit Florida. Sure, sure. And uh, that's the conditions we're dealing with, pre-tropical storm conditions. Everything out here in the swamp that when we were out here a week or so ago was completely barren, dry, is now flooded. The area we anticipated that we planned to hunt has a sign that for some reason says can't hunt this particular part of the area during general gun so that kind of really threw us off and that's what we're dealing with now so you know my first time doing this i'm loving every minute of it because it's a learning experience nonetheless but trying to find 
you know, we're limited on the amount of grounds that we have. The dog hunt area is the majority of this place. The still hunt area basically runs the perimeter of the dog hunt. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll bring up a map here and show you guys. But as you can see that the perimeter is our area and the middle is not. So limited on where we can go, trying to find a good place to set up and, you know, up our odds. But uh, everything being underwater is not helping. But we're going to keep moving and grooving, so stay tuned. You got any comments or suggestions of what you would do in this situation? Drop them in the comments below. Or remember, you can always reach out and write to us at infantryoutdoors at yahoo.com. All right, new potential spot. Or path. We found a path. What is this check out on the map, though? Yeah. Bryson? Yeah. Oh, you checked out? Yeah. Okay. And this is the unpenetrable wall. <laughs> we've been trying to get through. As you guys can see, we've only found one or two entry points along the way. See, we should have brought the map though. What is this to the left? Is this us too? Well, there, look, there's a big ass trail right here. Oh shit. Something's in the water. Oh wow, look, you can actually see the water. Looky there, looky there. That was a big turtle. Man, that's a nice water hole. Yeah, it goes right there. We are going in, boys and girls. Now this is looking juicy. Yeah, you want to whisper talk. And watch where you This guys is what we're dealing with right here. Just wet, swampy. See the trails, everything. <laughs> yeah, everything's flooded. But hey, this is a good spot up in here. All right, update for you guys. We've been down like three different trails, not having any success. Um, we're finding the areas that they're going to be in. The problem we're having is it's either flooded or where we, where, where we would be would be too close to their area. So it's tough out here, man, because we're limited on 
where we're allowed to hunt and in the areas that we are allowed to hunt we're limited by the amount of land that's actually there and then on top of it we're also limited by where the animals actually go so if that makes sense to you guys we're literally going to be on the ground yeah and i mean if we had a stand it would be a little bit different right but yeah we're we're in a ground blind ground. so and that's another thing too like these areas that we've been in they're all great they've got trees and stuff um, this management area does not allow you to nail into the trees if you were to use like a climber or something like that that would probably be good out here <clears throat> um, just because there's not a lot of land and we're trying to put a blind up so we'll see we're gonna keep trucking on we're gonna find that spot I know it's somewhere so stick and stay with us drop comments below man this is my first time doing this let me know what I'm doing right let me know what I'm doing wrong you know help your brother out but we're gonna keep moving See <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see him in the camera, but right... Where's my finger at? I'm so zoomed in. Oh, there you go. Right there. And then right there is the baby head. Those are baby alligators. Two of them. Oh. And I wonder if that is the trail for the mama. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so here's what we found. We made our own little path through here so we're not on a deer trail. And what Bryson's thinking is putting the blind in this area here, outlooking all of this. And he's noticed that they're traveling across to get to a little pond that's over there. So all in all, this looks like the driest, biggest, best area for what we need so far. So if that's your call, that's your call. We can stomp it down and give it a try. Well, uh, let's pin this and then go look for one more. Okay, so there it is behind me. All in all, that's so far the only spot that we found that has potential for what we need to do. Um, yeah, you can literally mark it because we know right where it is. So we're going to go try to find one more spot. That'll be our, if we don't find anything, better spot. And uh, yeah, that's the thing of doing this guys you got to put your boots on the ground you got to get out there we were out here a couple of, like two weeks ago conditions have changed thanks to tropical storm nicole but we're gonna make the best of it man we're gonna get out here we're gonna hunt come rain snow sleet hell or high water tomorrow morning we're gonna be out here hunting so you guys stay tuned for that that'll be in next week's video but in the meantime we're gonna go look for one more place if not we've got this place here so you know doing the best we can with the area that we're given Driving the trails, trying to find entry points in this thick, overgrown jungle that we're in. But we're working on it. Hope you guys are enjoying this. And uh, hopefully Bryson will find us a good spot. But you never know. But like I said, hurricane really messed us up. We had plans. Plans messed us up, but we're going to keep at it. So we're just going to keep riding this trail. Hi, See what we can find. See anything? So guys, I just want to show you the spot that we found. This is very heavy potential number one. As you can see, it starts over there, comes around. We've got this lake right here. All of this back there, all of this back there, all throughout there. So all of this on the outside is all hard ground with little bits of pockets of water. But this pond and the trails back there that we've checked out I think we might do this. If we don't find anything better, we're going to be here. So we're going to go check one more spot. And if that don't work out, then we're going to come back here and set up. So that, what do you guys think? Drop comments below. I know it's off the road, you know, but in this hunting area, pretty much all of the hunting area we're allowed to is off of a road. So keep that in mind. Let's go check one more spot. So just a few feet down from where we just filmed and showed you guys the potential area, this is a deer print and a very fresh one. And there's a few of them along here, but you can see the two toes of the deer very distinctly. Here's another one here. And another one over here. Now, you know they're distinct if your blind DJ can find deer prints in the dirt and point them out to you guys. They're very distinct deer tracks. So, yeah, leaning more towards that spot being number one. Here it is, guys, after a long day of driving, searching, hunting. We've got our area behind us. The area that you saw with the pond, uh, my partner Bryson's actually out there right now looking for where we want to put the blind. Then we'll hump it all into there, set it all up, and show you what that's like. So, been a long day out, but you know, putting boots on the ground, scouting, and doing all that stuff 
it's one of the most important parts I think of, of any hunt just knowing your area where you're going to be where the wind's coming out of what the weather's going to be like things like that all take into consideration if I've missed anything throughout this please feel free to comment below this is my first hunt by myself on my own uh, license or whatever you want to call it um, without going with somebody on their private land so I guess you could say this will be my first public land hunt hope you guys enjoy it all right, here we go. Time to go set up the blind. We got the crew. Yes, Little hunters, big hunters. Remember March. Yep. This episode of Infantry Outdoors is sponsored in part by Water Purification Products. Pure water at your fingertips. Service, installation, fully licensed, and bonded. Check them out today at waterpurificationproducts.com. Mayhem Studios. Add mayhem to your media with the best in the biz. Contact them at mayhemstudios at yahoo.com. ZW Designs. Get your fully customizable websites, apps, and logos for you or your business. Contact Zachary at zwdesigns-agency.com or call 970-759-2739. And buy generous donations from viewers like you. All right, everybody, there you have it. Oh. That's as brush as we can make it, as good as we can make it for today. Well, there you have it, everybody, live from Deer Camp for 2022. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it was a long one of trying to pick out where we're going to go. But again, like I said in the beginning, the hurricane kind of messed up everything we had planned originally. We had a spot all set can't hunt that area and then the other areas that we looked at were underwater so this is going to be our home for the next week the only thing left to do get out here first thing tomorrow morning see what we can get it's up to god at this point so say a prayer for your boy that we get one it'll be my first ever deer hog whatever we hunt um starting tomorrow morning so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video of setting up the hunting grounds hope that you learned as much as i did thank you so much for watching please give the video a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed by now hit the subscribe button don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified tuesdays for trapping tuesdays wednesdays for uploads fridays for live streams with that said i'm gonna get out of here because i gotta be back at 5 a.m <sighs> you guys have a great one until we meet again i hope that this and all of my adventures inspires you to get outdoors have an amazing day everybody